All right, hey guys, we have a, a new trailer here that we just finished and this one's going down to Arizona in the morning. So I wanted to take a moment and just talk through uh, some of the major features that some are new, some are old, some are just improved. So uh, we're gonna start at the front and do a full walk around uh, and see some of the details. So first things first, just starting with some, uh, some recent frame additions. Uh, we recently started putting those chains directly to the receiver here and reinforcing areas of this with uh, Raptor bed liner. With a tongue box on front, you can only see a little bit of this, but all areas of the frame that are susceptible to debris and rock chips, all of those, we're putting an extra level uh, of protection on there uh, just to maintain the life of the trailer. Uh, other thing you see here is the Max Coupler. So this is, this is an optional hitch accessory um, that just gives you a little bit more free range of motion. So a traditional ball coupler is just gonna be, you know, two inch ball uh, with a coupler on top that kind of moves around. But this one, as you can see, has full range of motion up and down, uh, all the way around. And then when it mounts to the vehicle, you'll have swivel motion there. So really nice if you plan to take it on uh, more technical roads where your trailer will be a little bit off camber or the approach and descent angles are, are more severe. What you see here as well is uh, one of the versions of our, our recent box uh, design. So this is a welded aluminum, it's 0.1 aluminum. Uh, we coat it with um, PUR15, which is a, a rust uh, prohibitor. Doesn't make as much difference with aluminum, but it's a really good base coat uh, for this Raptor bed liner, just to make it really, really durable. Um, a few extra things we do on this as well. We put L-Track on top, so you can store things on the top of the trailer. And then this particular version, um, this trailer was actually designed with the specific intention of housing a Yeti 65. So for people that want extra core, uh, cooler storage space up front, um, or even if you want to go and upgrade to a Dometic fridge freezer, you can put that in here and still have your traditional storage in the back. As you can see, lots of room in there. This just closes up. And these are unlocking heavy duty drawer slides. That goes in, that closes fully, and you're ready to go. Uh, moving around, this one we'll show you on the inside, but you can see here uh, there is a three-prong plug on the outside, and this is uh, this is your shore power port that is part of the 1,000-watt inverter accessory uh, that you can add on. So what that does, um, in the other side of this box, and I'll quickly show you over here, this box has two compartments, both with a locking handle, and this one is where your battery will be. Uh, if you have anything else over here, um, an air compressor, for example, we put in one recently, it would go in this compartment. But what the inverter does uh, is take that 12 volt power from that battery, and when it goes into the trailer, it converts that to 110 house power, so you can have some GFCI outlets uh, to run small appliances, charge your battery, things like that. Last thing about the box, um, there is just, uh, we kind of filled the space down here with a four inch tube of PVC that runs all the way across. We'll put some caps on there, but that's just for anything smaller. If you want to roll up a rug or put uh, you know, a fishing rod in there that kind of collapses down, that's just a good place for longer storage. Another recent addition to our trailers, we've started putting a steel plate here. This is a little branding opportunity, but also we have a magnet catch here that just catches that door. It's very subtle, but it holds it enough so that the wind doesn't take it, and it's easy enough that it's just a totally intuitive integrated solution. Uh, next, as you can see, our door screen and window cover. These are fully blackout window covers, and if you do want to, you can fold those up halfway and still access the screen here. With the, uh, this screen, the full door screen, it does have a magnet strip running down here. So when you want to get in, all you do is push that open, and then when you're, when you're going out of it, it just snaps back into place. Uh, if you bring the camera in, you can see on the other side as well, in here, uh, it does. So it folds up here to get out of the way uh, if you want free movement in and out of the trailer, but um, you, know, you can kind of treat that however you need to. While we're in here, you can see that that same um, full blackout shade is available for the Stargazer. Um, and then back here, Pretty traditional setup on the exterior. A lot of our cabins, we really dialed that in and it felt like it's been the same lately. Um, but we still have the leather trays up here, the backlit LED light that is on a dimmer. So you can go all the way down to 10% if you want to, go back up to 50 or 60. 
and then a lot of storage in the headboard area. Uh, in this particular build, we've taken up some of that with the uh, Xantrex inverter. So this is the unit that converts that 12 volt power into 110 house power. So you see that here. Uh, and then there's one in the galley as well. Nice little addition here that we've been putting on every trailer lately is a battery cutoff switch. That way when you're not using the trailer uh, or you're just in storage, you can make sure that that battery is not draining at all. Okay, other just basic things in here. You got your fan, four speed fan. That's pretty, uh, uh, been the same for a long time now. Our cabinets up here again they still interlock so you still have that platform for your uh, laptop or computer and then plenty of storage a lot of people um, ask us about storage and particularly about bed length in here so one thing to note five inch mattress comes with it the dimensions here are 56 and a half by 80 inches long by five inches deep and that 80 inches long is a full queen size bed but if you look at the headboard again you can notice it's at this really nice curve. And the reason we do that is not only to have a lot of comfort when you lean back against it, but when you do have your pillow here, you have effectively about three or four more inches of sleeping space. So you have to be about six, seven or six, eight uh, to really feel crammed in here. Otherwise, uh, the combination of the length as well as the stepped design of the cabinets is gonna give you just a lot of room to, uh, to stretch out. Coming back over here on the other side. Uh, so a few details down here, you can see the table is set up. Uh, I'll tell you how that kind of came to be in a second once we get to the galley. But a few features over here, uh, we've redesigned the fender. It's a really nice design. We're using that same coating, QR15 and, uh, and Raptor brand bed liner. We've got a grip tape here on the step as well as our water system totally integrated into that frame welded step. Uh, and then on this one, just a little extra protection, putting the strike plate there for any debris that comes off your tires as you drive. One new addition that we've added recently is the back step here is actually a two and a half inch receiver. It's a hitch tube. So uh, we do have that uh, hole in there. So if you want to put a two inch tube with a 5 16 hitch pin, um, you can kind of treat this like an accessory. Um, it's an accessorizable, or accessorizable option. So uh, we have a lot of ideas coming in the next few months for how we're going to use this. But right now we're just setting up all of our trailers so that we can easily retrofit that down the line. This is our uh, kind of the second half of the hot water system. So we pop this open. You see this is an on-demand hot water heater. It's really easy to set up. We, uh, we give you a hose, it's BPA free hose, and it already has those quick connects on the end. So you just come down here. The way to remember this is come right on in. Don't be left out. So we want to open up the left one. Put that right on there. This comes, we got Another valve right under here. And then when you turn on your water system, there's a pump underneath that pushes that water out from here into the on-demand hot water heater. And then you have this extension for the hose. Um, this is great for showers. You have 21 gallons of water to use. About 16 to 17 of that is really high pressure uh, water. The rest of it you can access if you really lift up the other side of the trailer and get that water to rush towards the exit. Uh, what we tend to use this for, this HDPE table, totally waterproof, it's a great prep station. It's really great for uh, setting up a wash basin to kind of clean up after you finish dinner. On this one, we actually have two propane tanks. This is the standard placement for it. Uh, it's a two and a half gallon tank. This will last most customers an entire season before you have to fill it again. Um, this particular build does have another propane tank on the other side. Okay, so now we're in the galley. Um, pretty traditional galley setup as far as we have the hatch, we have uh, LED lighting here. This is the, the cooler placement that comes on every trailer. The Yeti does come with it. And this is on those same 500 pound locking drawer slides. So that locks in, totally ready for travel. Push these down, that comes out. And you know, it's pretty, see it's pretty heavy duty there. I don't weigh that much, but 200 pounds of beer in there is no problem. And here we've recently moved to an entirely HDPE setup for the galley. So 
All of this is high density polyethylene in half inch thickness. We round over all the corners. It's really finished, really smooth. The drawer slides here, clicks right in so you're locked uh, when you're ready to travel. You can see here this one has a false front and the reason for that, as I'll show you, this is where we mount the forced air propane heater. So this is an internal cabin heater. Um, it's mounted back here and then there is some space here on the right side that is a duct uh, that fills up with hot air and then blows that into the foot of the bed. You do have your exhaust down here, so there's no concern about uh, any harmful fumes inside. Back in. Okay. Uh, other things here, new stove as of 2020. Uh, this is an 8,000 BTU burner on the, the, the right and a 6,500 on the left. Um, totally stainless steel construction. Big part of this was finding a unit that really stays put and doesn't rattle at all when you're, uh, when you're driving. And you can see these guys just really lock in there. It's a great unit. Um, it's really nice being able to pull up to camp and just immediately start cooking, not having to worry about setting up anything, being able to go to bed or start your dinner just right away. Back here, so this comes fully out. This is your cutting board, totally integrated. Inside you just have room for tall storage, as well as if we mount a, uh, a solar panel controller, that's where it goes right inside there. Alright, so this is the table when it's installed in the galley, so it locks everything in while you're traveling. Um, you can see this is the adjustable leg, and I'll show you how that sets up. You basically just flip that, flip those tabs, it comes right out of there. This is a good place to just rest it while you're getting it set up. And all you do is pull this knob off, loosen these a little bit, pull that out. This uh, gusset comes in, you tighten those comes with a carabiner and the carabiner just locks here so you're fully set up and then when you're ready to use it it just kind of goes in like so so now you got a pretty stable table there uh, the traditional placement for this is on the passenger side of the trailer uh, because I mentioned earlier this has a propane tank there this we mounted at the end of the cooler tray it actually provides a really nice um, space to eat, still have access to your cooler. And then if you wanna actually cook a lot, you can kind of keep this open. This can be you know, a certain area for prep, and then you can have a lot more prep here. So uh, this may be something we do more of in the future. It's kind of a nice addition, it's a nice placement. When you're done with it, pretty simple, just pop that out, do everything in reverse. Out, closes, loosen, loosen. That comes down. Put that on. And now you're secure for travel again. Um, last few things on this side. So, this is actually our, uh, our custom made solar panel. It's molded to be the curve of our trailer. Um, so, it's a really nice addition. As you can see, it does have 15 feet of extension as well. So it's not only charging when you're traveling to your campsite, but once you get there, you can easily lift it off, it weighs almost nothing, and set it up 10 to 15 feet off of your trailer. I'll show you what that looks like during travel. Just close that up, turn this off. All right, so you can see here, it easily plugs right into the hatch. This unit actually has a stand built in to the back of it. And then when you're ready to go, just put this right in there, swing it down, and then these just go right over top of it. They're set up for travel, and they've even included a lock here, so your solar panel is protected. This is a 100 watt solar panel made by Lightleaf Solar in Canada. Uh, couldn't be happier with this unit, it's been really great. And it just, um, you know, it totally optimizes an area of the trailer we weren't using before. So that's always a plus.
Last few things here, uh, this is our 2.5 meter awning, so uh, the awning and the roof rack does come with the trailer, uh, but this is an extended version, so it's like $20 more to get more space. As you can see, it's almost a, a full living room size in here, so it's pretty generous. Um, totally waterproof here. If it does rain, all you do, lower one side by a corner, all the rain's gonna come right off here, and you're gonna stay dry. Um, last things, like I said, this is the rolled up uh, screen here. That's something we've been selling a lot more of and it really does make, uh, make the outside more accessible when you're in buggy areas if you want to get a lot of cross breeze without sacrificing uh, your safety from mosquitoes. So closing up. Uh, some details about the aesthetics of this build. This is an original aluminum colorway. Uh, this is the standard size tire, but our customer opted to go with the KO2 by BF Goodrich uh, as opposed to our standard, which is uh, a Dick CPEC Trail Country EXP, uh, which are actually right behind us. Uh, and this is a relatively new tire as well. Um, we just started using this, needs a little bit of cleanup, but great all-terrain tire, um, whether you choose to upgrade or not. So. That's pretty much it. Um, lots of other things that we're doing that are not on this trailer, but uh, this one was kind of the, the fullest uh, manifestation of it yet. So, hope you guys have enjoyed.